Hey guys and welcome back to Trains. Today we are going to be finishing our session and we're going to start off working on the freight train. Uh, we don't have a freight train right now but we don't even have a line set right now so what we're going to look at is the portal. It's The train will travel to the portal, go into the portal, be taken away for a little while, be resurrected and come back again. Now these are the options of the portal here. So you can, it can produce new trains. We're not going to do that. It can consume trains, which means it can take the train as it's a, as the train enters it. Then it, you can set you can set it to accept all trains or accept trains matching specific criteria. We're going to set all trains. There's only one train going into it. And then finally, train returns after how many minutes? Now I've set to one. You can set to more than that if you wish. Then it says train is not loaded or unloaded. Train is loaded only. So you could send an empty train into it. When it comes back again, it would be loaded. Train is unloaded only. Now I figured that that's the best option for which we're going to use. Um, empty trains are loaded. Other trains are unloaded. And train returns to alternative portal. Now if you had another portal, you could set it to return to that portal instead. But we don't. So it's going to be coming back through this portal again. Um, that's it for that. There's no other options we need to actually worry about. So the train will go from the portal. Well, actually it won't. It will go from the station here, which is our freight station. Along here, at the top here. And it will go, it will go round. Down here. Round up here. To there and back again. Very simple. But it's probably our most complicated route. All the other trains have simply gone around in a figure eight so far. But this train, we will start the train off here. So it'll be a train and some carriages. The train will uh, detach from the carriages, go up to the turntable, turn around, go down the other line below it, probably go into this siding, because I do notice that the train will just carry on, even though you ask it not to, to get to the siding. And then it will come back through these points here, back onto that track and attach to this side. Then hopefully go back down again, back onto the correct track on the left and off it goes. Yeah. What's the likelihood of this actually working, do you, do you reckon? I, I, I'm not sure, but... Uh, I think the first thing we need, probably need to do, actually, you know, the, I was going to say put a train on, but the first things I've noticed we haven't done thus far, we haven't put the buffers on. That seems like a really tiny thing, but uh, sometimes trains won't enter a siding like this until they've actually got one. So, we're going to use some active buffers. I was thinking of using the UK ones, but, hmm. Okay, so if I double click it, will it actually show? Yes, it does. Yeah. Anybody notice what's wrong with that? There's one, that's very simple. And we're going to zoom up to the end. We haven't got buffers up here either. Two, three, four. Yep. <laughs> It's really convinced the train's coming from the other direction. Now, the next thing I know we're going to need to, to make this work is we are going to need not priority, not direction, a track marker. I reckon uh, turn table marker. What we want, hopefully, is the the train to stop at the front there where it meets the uh, red. I think it's the other way around it needs to be. Now we are going to need another trap marker. Probably here. Um, freight bypass station. And once again we want to 
there. We turn it around because it's going to be the other way. Now we don't have a signal here. I wonder if that's going to be a problem. We'll find out in a second. Now... I'm going to try putting the marker... I reckon if I did, if I put the marker here, before station, before freight station, station, marker. <laughs> hmm. If we move this down a bit further, that should be enough. My, my, th I know that if you just use the turnaround command, it, it needs to go into a into a side in there, but I, it should just go down to there and it's come back again. You'll see what I mean in a moment. <laughs> maybe. Yes, maybe. Right. Okay, let's add some... Uh, give it that. What are we going to add in? It could be milk. I could pretend that's milk. We could pretend that's milk, couldn't we? That's, that's certainly not milk. Oh, I like that. I'm very tempted just to put it on anyway. I do like that, actually. Look what that train is. It's an 060. It's a bit too clean. Oh, I quite like that, but it's, I don't think we've got the tender for that. Unfortunately. Uh, fitted van, what's that? We could put a fitted van on there, but I don't know what it'd be used for. So put two on. Or three. <laughs> um, oh, did we use this one? I'm tempted to use it though. All right, let's have a quick look if there any more. No, actually, I can't do that. I don't know how that's going to work with the turntable. Well, we haven't used this train. So, bye-bye. We need, first of all, to add a new command in. Session rules. And is we have to go to add... Uh, input table. Yes, I think it's input table. Here we go. There. And then we edit that. Then we go add short message, which is turntable, because that's why I just named it. Nothing special. Well, no, that is the turntable, sorry. Turntable is the name with a capital... Uh, T and then 24. The turntable has 24 positions on it. I think it's 0 to 23. And we want it to go all the way around. So I we want it to I'm going to give it 24 slots there. Now hopefully when we go to this driver edit. Yes, this is our new one. So we are at the station already. So we start off with. Do I have, have I got uncouple? 
No, I haven't added that in yet, have I? Okay, we have to ex exit that then. Uh, driver commands, edit. And couple from, just done couples. I think that would do it. I'm pretty sure. Do I have to save that again? I probably do, otherwise it won't show up. Override session, edit session rules, driver, edit. So we've got uncouples. Then we want to drive to track mark, which is turntable marker. We want to move turntable. It's not showing anything, which is not good. Does that mean I haven't done it properly? It might mean I've not actually done it properly. Well, let's ch check its name. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's called Turntable. Mm, is it in there? Yes, it's just called Turntable. Now it does say auto, but I found that auto doesn't really work, so it's better to actually put it manually do it. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, let's try, I'll try editing that again. Turn. Oh, there okay. go. Turn table. All right, save again. Edit, driver, edit. And it didn't keep that, did it? Uncouples. Drive to track mark, turntable marker. Turntable, turntable two, south, stop at zero. Is it 13? I think it starts off at zero. Well, we'll find out. Then we want it to try. As uh, turn, I turn, turn table. Hmm. Freight bypass. Then navigate to no, track mark again. Before freight station. And then. Do I do that? It's been a while since I've done this. Do I commands edit? Or, ah, that might work. I just thought. Navigate to um, that one. All right, that's as far as we're going to take it right now. Because I don't think it's going to work. But. You never know. So where's on your train? Well, that signal's not moving. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can bring up messages. Show message overlay. No path to selected destination. Is there something wrong with the track? There's a way to check that. We can put anything on here. Edit it. Well, something wrong there. Back onto track. Uh, edit. Hmm. Delete that there. Back onto here. Edit. Should snap to it. Doesn't seem to be doing that. There we 
There we go. Well, it's snapped to it now. Okay. Save it. Yes. I didn't think that was going to be a problem because I checked that track. So, the first thing is, where is it, is it going to stop? If it's too far... Ooh, that was very close. We do want to edit that a little bit. <laughs> okay, you're going to go the other way. So, do we have to push it to zero instead? No. It's continuing to go round. So. Move turntable. Now 13 put it to there. So it must be 12. Uh. All right, we're going to put wait, halt, train. Wait for five seconds. We can actually do it. Stop. Stop. It did it. Right. Okay, we've turned around. So the point to point left, you can see the green's to the left, so it's going to bypass the train. I think we can hear a train there. Yep, there is a train there. There you go, you get a view of two trains. Now, remember, we're going to the next set of points after this one. Just after the signal, it's gone up. Now, it should stop. I do hope it's going to reverse after this. Yep, we are reversing. I hear a train going very fast the other way. The signal's going. Uh, the points are going the right way, sorry. Well, it's slowly going. Come on. Ah, okay, let's look at the message then. Uh, uh, waiting access to track. Edit session rules, edit. Hmm. I think we're going to have to name these then. Uh, that one. There. Freight one uh, and freight two. Then we're going to have to do the instructions twice so it can actually get round to the other correct side. We're going to couple two. Freight one. So that's starting the rest of it in. We're going to then to navigate to portal one. 
Then we're going to navigate to the dairy. Then we are going to uncouple again. We're going to go to turntable marker. Uh, navigate trap mark, turntable marker. Bring, we're going to halt the train. I have a feeling this is going to be wrong, but we're going to move the turntable to, uh, we're going to say 12 this time, but I think it's going to end up being zero. Then we are going to wait for five seconds. There, we're going to drive yeah, to bypass. Uh, drive to freight bypass, that's it. Then we're going to drive, navigate to drive to trap mark uh, four. Yeah, that's it. Then we're going to couple to freight two. Then we are going to drive, navigate to the portal again. And finally, navigate to the dairy. Navigate to the dairy. And then we are going to repeat. Now this time it's quite long. It's going back. Okay, and now off we go. Well, it's gone to the left hand side, that's a good thing. So far, so good. It's not gone into the siding, which is even better. Oh, yes. Straight through there. We should go straight through the village as well. So our signals have worked. Okay, so far so good. Slowly through the station. We don't want to whiz through the station. It's not nice for the people uh, at the platform, of course. <laughs> That's my excuse why it's slowed down anyway. Oh, I remember. No, no, no. That's the reason. We have a speed restriction here. That's because one of the trains wouldn't actually uh, stop in the proper position, so I had to really slow him down. Or, no, oh, it's the lady driver. The, ray, the original one which we actually put on. She just... She parked the train on the other platform with half of the carriages beyond it, even though I'd finally set it up correctly. Yeah, you can get going now, really.
Oh, it's going to be good to see. I'll actually only get there beforehand. I was wondering what would happen if uh, this train gets there. That well, that's going over the points because we're going right now. Now, at the moment, we are stuck at the moment. I oh, know we're going. Signal says we can go. Now we're going to be kicked off this train soon, so I'm not sure. Maybe it put us another train. I think, yeah. On this final episode, I'm going to put a lot of grass here because this is obviously a. Yeah, we'll forget about that bit long grass down here because it's obviously a not very well used siding here not siding or track branch line okay yeah it's decided we'll do one last episode with a little bit of building i've never this is the first time i've ever used a portal so i am quite interested what happens Did it reach it and just disappear? Obviously, yes, it's gone. There you go, that's what happens. Well, we're okay with that. So it's come back out, it should be out, now be empty. I do like the river with the uh, village behind. Here we go. We are going the correct way, obviously. Okay, I'm quite interested to see where it parks at this time. If it parks it, I'm really not sure. I thought so, because we didn't go halt, just left it. We have a big problem. It's not going ding, 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 ding at all, is it? I thought so. Let's have a look at our session then. First thing we need to do. Portal, navigate to the dairy. Then we need to halt the train. And we need to halt the train. Well, the two things we've stop them just going off on their own again right the first time we're taking it to 12 no the first time we're taking it to 12 the second time let's take it to zero then yeah move turntable to number zero now since there's only one train on here hmm actually we're going to do it the other way I'm going to show the more complicated way, which I, I've learned how to do it. I'll go for 12 still. The more complicated way is we have another train and we have a trigger. So, let's set the trigger first. Uh, should we say there? Uh, turn. Yeah. Table. Trigger out. I'm going to take it to 10. Just in case I put a bigger train on it. So we need another train. Um, it's never going to go anywhere, this train. It's going to have a solitude life, a solitary life there. 
but it plays a pivotal part. Uh, da, 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 blue there. So this train just lives there. That's where it lives. Now, its one job will be uh, da, 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 da. where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Wait for random. Wait for ah. Oh, wait for trigger. There you go. Right. So what you do on there? We've added the uh, wait for trigger. Turntable trigger out. Yeah. Any train. And that will uh, move turntable back to zero. Oh, we go repeat. That's it. So when the train comes onto this turntable, it won't do anything, so it's not zero. But once it's turned around, it goes out again, passes the trigger. It should. So near where those points are, it should start going back round again. It does. So next time we go back over it, it'll be the correct place again, so it will just work again. That means we could run multiple trains up there now. Let's have a look at our poor train, which will never move. It's a nice looking train. I suspect we're going to have to wait here for a while again. Get any further away, we past the board, unfortunately. Okay, will we stop? I do hope so. Uh, press F5 again. It's a bit too early to stop, really, but... The last thing we're going to be doing today is put a few cameras in. Where should we put them? Where's a nice place? Somewhere like here is quite nice to look at. No, do I want that low? Not really. Okay, well that's going to be our first one. Somewhere like this would be nice. Going round. So we can watch the cars go. we do that tracking place camera pretty interesting camera somewhere like that yeah that'd be quite interesting Obviously, you don't see these cameras. Obviously. Somewhere like that, maybe?
You want tracking or static? I think static for this one. That's it. Yeah, let's put one here. Try and get it in line a bit more. That might be quite fun. Trying my best to edit this a little bit. Do I want it straight on? Or do I want it at an angle? All right, that should be it, static. Good. Hmm. Yeah, that might be quite good. Something like that. I'm trying to make it look like you're actually standing in here. Very difficult. Well, actually, we can just go onto cameras now. How are our cameras working? Let's see. I do like the cameras. I really like the cameras. Because you can put me in some fun angles, fun places. Maybe one the other side. But I did have one there, but it's obviously not close enough. Sure about that camera angle. I quite like that one, maybe. This one probably looks better. Well, that one probably looked better head and looking this way. This angle's not bad. Well, I'm pretty sure I put it in f this camera in front of the uh, tractor a little bit more, but. I think it's further back than I placed it. I quite like this one with the cows. Well, well, I've been recording two hours twenty six minutes now. It really does speed up. I'm going to have to put another sign there saying like four miles an hour or something. Quite arty. Um, 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> so I placed that camera by accident. <laughs> I get the feeling that some of the cameras aren't in the exact place I put them. Oh yes, this is my arty shot. Now, I think that's probably going to be it right now. We will do one last episode and that will be just finishing bits off because I've just, things I've just noticed really while I've been playing it now um, and then that'll be it then we will have a couple weeks off I have a couple weeks off from this and then I will start a new uh, route if you have any ideas what I should do with the new route settings or anything then do do share them but for today that's it I'd like to thank you very much for watching if you liked it please do press the like button if you'd like to see more subscribe and if you press the bell icon or even tell you when I play some videos once again thanks a lot bye bye